just gone off of worky work. We are going out tonight. It was my friend's birthday this week. Childhood friend, known her since like elementary school. Gemini queen. I haven't been out since my birthday. So it's been quite some time. Did get a haircut. Thanks for noticing. It's hot as fucking balls, so I'm gonna change. I did an afternoon coffee today because I knew it was gonna be a long day. So I kind of have the remnants of a, the coffee jitters, which is what I intended on happening. I timed my coffee so that it would be later in the afternoon and it would like last me through the night. I need to blow my nose. I have like work day boogers. We have an hour. Speed get ready. Turbo mode. I'm just gonna do a bit of road for the skin prep. Mm, maybe I'll put moisturizer on too. Me, a little bit of moisturizer puts on five pounds of moisturizer. I'm trying to decide if it's a music vibe today. I've really just not been listening to a lot of music. I've been enjoying silence or podcast. Here's our makeup inspo. Inspired by Miss Kelsey. Because I have done Kelsey's makeup before, we are gonna do one of the looks that I have done on her in honor of her birthday. I go through phrases of not listening to music and listening to music and I'm really heavily in my no music phase right now. I'm just tired of everything and I feel overstimulated all the time. And so when I get a moment of silence, I just want the moment of silence. Oh my God. Also, we are hanging out with a new girly tonight. I'm actually so excited because I like don't really make friends. Um, people scare me and people are so disappointing to be so fucking honest. I'm like just not the biggest people person ever and I like don't frequently meet people that I like but I met this girl like last week and we just vibed. And it's like, you know, sometimes when you meet girlies and like, you're like, oh my God, yes, let's hang out, like whatever. And then nobody follows up. Yeah, that happens to me more often than not, but we both followed up. So it's happening. I'm really excited because I haven't made a new girlfriend in since college, literally. Making friends after college is like a weird thing, but she actually approached me, which I love because I'm so bad at approaching people. I mean, I haven't like, put that much effort into making friends post-college either because I'm like quite satisfied with the people in my life right now, but I'm not closed off to it, you know? So I wasn't about to be like, oh, we can't be friends. My mom came in. <laughs> um, And okay, so I guess we're doing this now. So like, A, obviously I still live with my family. Really didn't want to talk about it until I had like a plan to move out, but like whatever, right? It is what it is. So like the more that I try to resist it and hide it, like the more <laughs> did you see me just yeet i literally just yeeted my camera so my parents don't know i have a youtube channel and i would prefer it to stay that way i mean i actually kind of think they do because i went to a funeral <laughs> i went to a funeral last year with all my family members and all of them were like oh my god you're youtube and i'm just like you guys are not supposed to know about this so like i started my youtube channel when i was in like i was really young i was like 14 or something and my parents found out and they told me to not do it I ended up just doing it in secret for like literally my whole life and now that I'm an adult and I can like make decisions for myself I'm obviously still doing it, but I don't want them to know because I spent a lot of time on it And I just think it's one of those things where they wouldn't Understand that it's like a serious thing until it's like something that does generate quote-unquote conventional like success and income and stuff like that <sighs> We're talking about this, I guess. I was not, I did not expect to talk about this until later in my YouTube career, I guess, but whatever, it's coming up now and I'm, I'm trying to like accept where I am in life and not be ashamed of it. And I feel like if I talk about it, then in a way I am accepting it. And I don't also even have to like post this. So like I can talk about it and decide I don't want to post it, but we'll see. I've pretty much posted the majority of the things that I have filmed to keep like my commitment to myself and my goals and whatever um but yeah i didn't want to talk about my parents or my family ever really because it's like a weird I have like a weird family dynamic let's just skip that okay so anyways back to the this is way too much it's not a smoky eye girl it's just a black tight line i have no idea what i want to wear the theme is hot and cunt usually when there's a theme i like immediately know nothing is coming to mind right now i'm honestly so excited for tonight i'm excited to hang out with the girls and meet some new people and get drunk
Mm, and dance. Mm. Wait, where are we at on time? It's eight. Okay, we have 30 minutes. Realistically, like this is usually how it goes for me. I like usually get ready in silence and don't take a million years. But when I do my like get ready with me videos, I like it to be like a whole thing. Cause it's fun for me. I like to take three hours to get ready and listen to music and dance and vibe. But usually that's not what happens because usually I'm fucking rushing and I have a time limit and I just need to focus. We don't have time for that whole experience today. So I got this Digicam. I finally am a Digicam girl off of eBay. So cute, love her. But um, I like banged it against the wall very lightly and the thing to click it in place for the batteries broke. And so the batteries just, it's broken. This happened when I was trying to fix my tire. So can you imagine? Okay, so basically I got a flat tire last weekend and I did post a vlog about it if you wanna watch that. Anyways, I got a flat tire and it was just like one of those things that happens that's not actually a big deal, but it feels like a big deal because it's like the cherry on top of all the other shitty things that are going on in your life. And so like, if I was, you know, just like living life and everything was normal, I would have not reacted as dramatically as I did. Like I had a full meltdown. Obviously I didn't post that part, <laughs> but I had a full meltdown. It was just one of those things that sent me over the edge and I was like so distraught about it. And then, so while all of this is happening with my fucking tire, my digicam that I haven't even had for a week fucking breaks. I'm so sad because I was really looking forward to using it tonight and I can't, so yeah. I'm kind of half-assing this look today because I'm just trying to go, bro. I'm just trying to go. Okay, but what the fuck am I gonna wear? I don't know if it's like a skirt, short, pant vibe, boot vibe. It is kind of giving boot. Uh, uh, uh. I have that song. <laughs> I have that song stuck in my head by Rihanna. It's by Rihanna, in case you like didn't get that. I mean, I can't imagine that you would have gotten that out of my performance. Uh, performance is a generous word. Okay, lips. What's the lip vibe? A nude lip? I mean, I have so many fucking options. That was sarcasm. I didn't say that sarcastically, but it was sarcasm. Cute. Um, okay. Mm. Stop doing that. Oh my God, that's so weird. It's like not cool. Okay, hair time? Oh no outfit time because then we can determine the hair. This boot is so cunt, right? <laughs> I said that way too seriously. This boot is so cunt. This is the boot that I'm talking about. <laughs> the cunt boot. But you know, that's like all I got. What else? What else? <sighs> this is cute. Wait, these two things are cute. Okay, so we have my little, oh my God, there's no way you can even tell what the fuck this is. Little vest, halter top. This is the same fucking thing, just not a vest. It's more of like a scoop neck, cowl neck kind of halter top. I was envisioning this with something. What is the bottom? We can run this. Wait, my knee skirt, this is super cunty. Mm. <laughs> we can pull out my little vent, okay. Obviously it's not gonna be worn like that. Wait, wait, wait. I like the little like bow moment, the little fruffles with the leather and the edge. Yeah, love it. Okay, we have this first option. I kind of like don't like this together. Like it's just not the same energy. So I'm gonna try this one. I guess that's kind of better. I'm gonna put on the shoes to see if it will like pull it together. And with this top, I'm gonna have to use pasties. Normally I don't really give a fuck, but like right now I don't feel like dealing with all that. I don't know, something is just like not working. I do like this top though i kind of think i want to do the top which is like ironic because i just said i didn't want to do what the fucking did i say pasties i meant to say fashion tape i don't want to deal with the fashion tape right now but i like kind of want to wear this top oh my god i feel like i never dress like this anymore or like slut i don't know what to wear anymore going out oh well actually this might help i want to wear these glasses so maybe if i if i put these glasses on it'll help the look together yeah no is it the skirt like what is wrong uh, i don't know what to do i don't know what to do okay i haven't worn this dress out in a while i kind of think this is it because then i can do hold on these tights super cunty let's just do this fuck it i kind of wanted to wear like an all black tonight but whatever this is so extra i'm not trying to be this extra i'm just gonna go with it i feel like the glasses tone it down a little bit or tone it up which is it Doing the little claw clip hairstyle, I always have to do it like not looking at myself in the mirror because then I like overthink it and it just ends up not looking good. Every time I don't look in the mirror and I just like do it however, it looks way better, okay? Jacket. Huh. 
Hot cunt. Why do I hate it? I don't hate it, but like, what's wrong with it? It's because I want it to wear black. What time is it? It's almost 8.30 and like 8.30 is when I want to leave. What do I do? I don't want to wear this. Wait, it doesn't even go with my eyeshadow. I'm not wearing this. This is what I want to fucking wear. So I'm gonna wear this. More boob. How does it naturally fall? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, these white shorts are literally a staple of mine, especially for the summer. I've worn this outfit before. Who fucking cares though? That's what clothes are for, bitch. Just kidding, love you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, done, we're done. We didn't even need to do my bangs. Love that. I'm putting my socks on now. Okay, but we need to choose accessories now. Oh, hi. Wow, I'm literally the best YouTuber ever. <clears throat> I usually wear like a long necklace with this because it's so low. Maybe I'll do a short necklace this time. What? I don't like that. Do we like that? I don't know, actually. Don't really like that. Okay, Um, I don't like have any other options though. Well, I have a choker, like a ribbon choker. Maybe that'll be cute. Yup, because the ribbons can like, oh, Scary. The ribbons can hang and that'll like take up this empty space on my chest. Except every time I wear a fucking ribbon and go drink, I like literally can't breathe. Okay, yes, oh my God. So cunt. I'm sorry, that was so cringe. <laughs> okay, yes, this is the vibe that I wanted for tonight. So glad we tried again. Boobies. this shit down. I'm gonna take it to a camera store because I actually want this to work, but for a night, it'll be fine. Let's go. Kelsey's, Kelsey, it's, I've done Kelsey's birthday. I've done Kelsey's birthday, what? Um, and I'm just, wait, no. Why is it? Well, I was gonna like filter myself, but to be honest, I really need to shit, but it's like not coming out. Actually, I've been, I've been not, but. <sighs> what? I have. <sighs> okay, fine, we're done, we're done. Finish, stop, stop, stop. Let's see. Oh, do you guys want to be over here? Or do you want me to vlog it? I don't know. I mean, fuck. I don't know. Like, bro, just let that live there. Okay. Uh, horrible, horrible, horrible.